What is going on everybody? It is Dylan with Astro DFS bringing you a brand new video. Today's video, I'm going over the Monday night slate between the Cowboys and the Giants. Uh, it's going to be an interesting one. There's still some injury news that we're going to wait on uh, that could make some value um, on both sides. Um, Dallas, we look on them. Uh, and I'll compare both sides. I think one of the things that uh, a lot of people don't do when they do showdowns is use the sites. Uh, maybe there's a player that you really like and you can't afford on one site. So you try to get them on the other and vice versa. Uh, so we'll look at both DraftKings and FanDuel and kind of compare them and, and go through them and see what we want to do with that. Uh, so the injury news we're waiting on Dallas is Michael Gallup. If he is going to play in Dalton Schultz if he is going to play. Uh, so if Michael Gallup plays, you get him at a 7,400 price point. Dalton Schultz plays 64. Uh, Michael Gallup's out. You get uh, Fecko and uh, maybe, I'm really hoping Tolbert. It's probably not going to be Tolbert. It's uh, more than likely going to be Turpin. Uh, and if Dalton Schultz is out, look at Jake Ferguson. Uh, at a $200 value, it's crazy. If Schultz is out, which he lines to be, Paying $200 has got to be one of the best values tonight. Uh, on the Giants side, the injury news that we're waiting on uh, is just Kadarius Toney. Um, doubt he plays. That's He's been doubtful for days. It doesn't sound promising at all. Um, so that's where Richie James and uh, Sills kind of get in play there. Uh, so now we'll compare the, the prices on both sides and where the players ring. So on DraftKings, as you can see, Barkley, Lamb, Rush, Jones, Elliott. That's top five. Now here's where, like I said, it gets interesting. On FanDuel, it's completely different. It's Jones, Barkley, Rush, Lamb, Zeke. Then you get Sterling Shepard, Michael Gallup, Richie James, and then Tony Pollard's down there at 10,000. DraftKings is different. Tony Pollard's right below Zeke, and then you get Sterling Shepard, Michael Gallup, uh, and Kenny Galladay, Galladay all the way down at uh, 6200 uh, So there's definitely some price differences there, and yet again, that's that's where I like it. Uh, after Dalton Schultz, so this is yet again where FanDuel and DraftKings vary. Um, you get to Dalton Schultz, and then you get the defense defenses and kicker. Uh, on DraftKings, you get almost the same thing uh but you get richie james sills in there and then you get the cowboys uh bellinger for the giants the kickers and then the giants defense so the cowboys defense is 800 more than the giants and you get the kickers typically always right there uh so I i'm gonna go ahead and we're, we're gonna be different today from the other showdowns we're gonna talk about some values so i mentioned that the the three guys that we're waiting injury news on is Kadarius Tony, Michael Gallup, and Dalton Schultz. So if Dalton Schultz is out, and we can look at the Cowboys, we're looking at the values of Noah Brown at eight thousand is a great value. Jake Ferguson, it's not as good of a value on FanDuel as it is DraftKings because you get Fecko there, you get Turpin. Jalen Tolbert, if they finally play him. Um, so there's a difference there. Um, you get Tony Pollard, I think, at a, a discount too. Um, but that's where that lies. And then we go to the Giants. And so you get Richie James here. David Sills, between Richie James, is 3500 And they view uh, Richie James a lot more than Sills. But Sills is down there at 7000 Daniel Bellinger, the tight end for the Giants, got a touchdown last week, 6,500 on FanDuel. You get Darius Slayton there as well at 6,500. Um, Ricky Seals-Jones, 6,000 if he does or does not play. And then the backup running backs. Granted, it's going to be the Barkley show, don't get me wrong. But if you go and you're like, oh, what if Barkley does get hurt? Uh, then those running backs are 5,500. Which is crazy. So there's obviously value. Now we'll go look on DraftKings. Do the same thing. Uh, look at Dallas first. And you get the wide receivers. Like, there's a ton of value on DraftKings for receivers if Michael Gallup's out. Now, if Michael Gallup's in, you're going to look at Lamb, Gallup, Brown as the top three. And I really hope Michael Gallup gets back. I want to see Dallas um, see a little bit of what they're capable of doing, especially when they have to face a team like Philly twice this year. Uh, but you get Fecko, Tolbert, Turpin, all cheap. Like, very, very cheap. 
and then Jake for uh, Ferguson at 200. So to me, on DraftKings, playing Jake Ferguson if Dalton Schultz is out is he doesn't. You don't need him to do a lot. He's two hundred dollars. So to put it into perspective, if we put Jake Ferguson in there, that's thirteen hundred more a player that we could play. We can almost play everybody on this slate at that price. So if we were to just put everyone in the top four, we're left with eighty eight hundred for the captain. Now, granted, there's players. I'm just throwing this out as an example. But you get Barkley, Lamb, Rush, Jones, and Ferguson, and then you go and find out where you want to go. That's just an example of what you could do on DraftKings. Now, if we go on FanDuel and kind of do that, and let's say that um, we go down to Bellinger. Let's put Bellinger in as our flex on here. The prices don't vary on FanDuel compared to uh, DraftKings, where DraftKings... You pay one and a half more for the captain. Uh, on FanDuel, everything is just that price. So we put Bellinger in there. Um, it's 6500 And we're going up over 1000 per player. And with the pro- players that are in here, let's go. Daniel Jones, Saquon, Cooper Rush. We have 10000 to afford a player. You get uh, Tony Pollard. You get the defenses. Noah Brown, uh, Kenny Galladay. A lot of... A lot of opportunity there as well. So now let, let's talk about your your payups, your your guys that you hope to play because there's such value there. Um, so just looking at the flex price and at the captain price, Saquon sixteen hundred more than CD Lamb. Saquon's been getting a lot of volume this year. I think he's what we were hoping for last year. Even if last week. He doesn't get the fantasy points you got in week one against Carolina. He got 21 carries, four targets. So in total, he's got 25 volume. What did he get week one? He got 25 volume, 18 carries, seven targets. Uh, He just ends up getting uh, the rushing touchdown, and he gets more receptions for more yards, rushes for more yards. But he gets that volume. That's the thing that we were all wanting. Uh, And you look on the contrary of Ezekiel Elliott, of him, Still getting volume. 5.9 fantasy points is not helping your team at all. But he's still getting that volume. He's still rushing fairly well in my opinion. Um, Same yardage. Five more carries. But you have to look at the teams they're playing. Tampa Bay. Really good rush defense. That's just how they are. Cincinnati. For the most part last year was a very good rush defense. Ezekiel Elliott's a good pass blocker. That's why they have him in over Tony Pollard. Tony Pollard was a better pass blocker. He out-snapped Zeke easy. It wouldn't even be comparable because Tony Pollard is just a better rusher than Zeke. But Zeke gets the pass blocking. Tony Pollard still gets volume. It's not like he doesn't get volume. Seven targets, nine rushing attempts last week against Cincinnati. So in total, you get 24 rushing attempts between those two running backs last week. Um, Tony Pollard gets seven targets out of the backfield. Easily outscores in that one game what Zeke's done all season. But now you're getting a, a team that's not that great against the rush. Tony Pollard and Zeke are very good value plays to me from getting off those top four guys of Barkley, Lamb, Rush, Jones. Uh, And on DraftKings, you're not getting a discount on Tony Pollard versus uh, FanDuel. You get a $2,000 discount from going from Zeke to Pollard. So if you like Pollard over Zeke, he's more playable on FanDuel. He's easily more playable on FanDuel. Um, Now, we go with wide receivers. So we talked about running backs. I like Saquon. I like both running backs on Dallas. DraftKings, you could flip a coin and pick, pick between Zeke and Pollard. Um, FanDuel, it's probably more beneficial to go Tony Pollard. Now, wide receivers, obviously C.D. Lamb is the most expensive by far. There's not a lot of talent on that Giants team uh, as far as wide receivers. Sterling Shepard is the most expensive on DraftKings. You get Kenny Galladay there and then Richie James Stills. Um... C.D. Lamb to me is just going to be the number one target. If Dalton Schultz plays, Dalton Schultz starts to get targets. Michael Gallup plays, Michael Gallup starts to get targeted. But C.D. Lamb, yet again, like last week, improves against a 
a good rush defense, not the greatest pass defense. Week 1 just plays overall against one of the better defenses in the league, but he still targeted 11 times. In that week 1 you could go, "Oh, Dak was he was in there in the majority game." No, Cooper Rush still targeted CD Lamb. Like they are going to target CD Lamb. I know he's got a rougher matchup, don't get me wrong, it's not the best matchup, but he's still going to get targets. On the contrary, the Giants wide receivers do seem very playable to me. Sterling Shepard obviously is that number one guy. 14 targets through two weeks. Um, yet again, facing a Tennessee team who I don't think is the greatest uh, pass defense. Um, and you look at Carolina, played, I think, very well, besides Chris Olave yesterday, um, of playing against a wide receiver. Granted, Landry went down, Michael Thomas went down, uh, but overall still getting points. Uh, Kenny Galladay, I mean, it's just, yeah, it's not pretty. Uh, so for me, your two wide receivers on the Giants that you want to play is definitely Richie James. He's becoming the number two target. I mean, pretty consistent numbers uh, in back-to-back -back weeks. Um, yet again, it's another thing where you get a discount on him on FanDuel. Um, I'll find him here. Uh, FanDuel is getting at 10-5. DraftKings, you're getting that discount, but he's not quite where you want him to be. Um, being at 5400 and Sills is right there below him, $400 cheaper. Uh, other than that, I mean, there's there's not a lot. We talked the defenses. This could easily be a very defensive game. Uh, I do like the kickers tonight. I think uh, both teams will struggle um, to put the ball in the end zone, and that's where you look at Brett Meyer and Graham Gano. Graham Gano just... Uh, a kicker, you know, he's one of these guys to where if you have him in the showdown, if he's in the showdown slate and he gets you 17 points, he's probably outscoring a majority of the slate. Uh, and Meyer is just, I mean, he's not what Graham Gano is as far as kicks. Dallas likes to go for it. Uh, but it's a, it's probably going to be a sloppy matchup. Daniel Jones is not the best quarterback in the world. Uh, Cooper Rush is promising. Uh, I think we just need to see more and more out of him to see what kind of evaluation we give him. By all means, I think he's playing well above expectation. Um, but I don't think he's that franchise quarterback in any shape or form that's, you know, going to feed Lamb, Gallup, Schultz, feed the running backs, and be very efficient. Uh, but he's going to try his heart out to do that. He's going to try to get CeeDee Lamb the ball. He's, they're going to run the ball. Dallas is always going to run the ball, whether it's Cooper Rush or Dak Prescott in there. It does not matter. Um, but then trying to get Michael Gallup back in the game script. Dalton Schultz, please try to get him. Um, but if these two guys are out, Noah Brown and 6,800 CeeDee Lamb, two guys that you're probably going to want to roster. If both Gallup and Schultz are out, they don't have a lot of help in the pass game. So those are two big guys that are going to get a lot of volume for the Dallas side. So I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys enjoyed the content, please uh, leave a like and subscribe. That means a lot to me. If you guys are interested in joining our Discord where we give out plays every slate in the main slate the showdown slates we give our bets props you guys can ask any questions we'll give you advice on anything that you have as far as contest to enter um trying to manage your bankroll on DraftKings FanDuel anything like that um and it's a very cheap subscription guys I mean very cheap for what we provide and give out so if you guys did enjoy uh definitely check that out the link for that will be in the description and I will see you guys in the next one